Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have our old friend Fergus Ewing to thank for this story because he has come out again, been the voice of reason, the voice of sanity. He's one of the few sane ones left in the SNP. And he has called for the Butte House Agreement to be ditched. He's saying it's time to pack the bags of Geoffrey and the Imp and send them on their merry way out of government and away from any kind of power because they're co completely useless, more so than anyone even in the SNP, which is, strictly speaking, quite difficult. However, he's, uh, he, he's, he's speaking what most people think, and I think increasingly what people in the SNP are thinking, that it's time to ditch the Greens, send them out, let them go, you know, basically bring reason and sanity back to the party and stop with all the damaging policies. Now, Fergus, of course, is one of the few normal people. He's uh, quite a personable person, if you will. He's quite, you know, nice. People, Everyone admires him. He's liked outside of politics. And there's not many in the SNP that you could say that of. And so when he does speak, people really should listen, and particularly people in the party. It's just a shame that so few do. But we'll take a look at this story, see what's going on, see what Fergus is uh, saying, and see why he is perhaps the only person in the party that has got any kind of understanding of the feeling of the nation. Here goes. So again, it's another one of those, um, he gets up, he says his piece, and people go, you know, he's right. He really is. Fergus Ewing calls for the Greens to be recycled and half-baked pie in the sky heat pumps binned. Well, of course, because they're just not good enough. It's almost as though the people pushing them don't understand how awful they are. But of course, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, Patrick Harvey's heat pumps should be binned and he should, and he should be recycled, says the SNP MSP, in another defiant statement. But the defiance is reducing, I suspect. There's more and more people, particularly the backbenchers in the SNP, who definitely see the Greens as being an absolute lunatic fringe you know, extremist Marxist group, hell-bent on the destruction of the economy and increasing the general level of poverty and misery across the country. And to do what? To make zero difference at all, except to give them something to masturbate over when they see the harm they've done. And they go, we did this out of our own self-fulfilling fulfilling virtuousness. Well, they're all tossers, aren't they? Uh, SNP rebel Fergus Ewing delivered a scathing question to Hamza Yousaf, where he branded the Greens' plan for heat pumps, half-baked uh, half pie in the sky, and called for Green ministers to be recycled. The Highland MSP brought up the issue of heat pumps following a decision from the Scottish Government to shelve the original 2025 start date. It's a stark U-turn from the original plan that came part and parcel with the Scottish Greens. It now means, incidentally, that just about every single policy that the Greens said they would have to have as part of their agreement for the Butte House Agreement has now been abandoned, destroyed, beaten, lost, everything. Not one single policy is getting through. And of course, that's because every single policy they've mentioned has been absolutely moronic. But what do you expect? None of them are intelligent. They're all stupid. And I don't just mean general low-level stupidity. I mean stupid beyond belief that the, the level of ignorance and stupidity in the greens is absolutely astounding they have no concept of reality they have no concept of what their policies do and when you present them with actual facts they deny reality because reality for them is rather unpleasant and difficult to understand again this is a function of them being incredibly stupid what do you expect Anyway, Mr Ewing is calling for that and the requirement for new bills to be fitted with heat pumps and not boilers to be taken, taken a step further and dropped completely. So he's saying he's happy the idea that they're dropping uh, the push of heat pumps in every building, but please God drop them in new bills. And of course you have to. You absolutely have to. If heat pumps are, from 2025, installed exclusively in new builds, within six months the Scottish building industry will grind to a halt. And the reason is people don't want heat pumps. People want gas central heating because unlike heat pumps, it works. 
And when you live in a cold place like the top of Scotland, you need heat. You don't need a very expensive box on the wall that makes a hell of a racket and delivers about half the amount of heat you need and none of the hot water ability that you then have because it won't be hot enough to kill all the bacteria. And so what do people do? All these house builders, oh, they bought all these houses, oh, we've got heat pumps. People come along, has it got gas central heat? Uh, no, it's got a heat pump. All right, thanks, bye. And off they go. They won't sell these houses. People won't buy them. And so if they're not selling the houses, they don't have the turnover of cash, they're not going to build any more. End of the Scottish housing industry. Well done. Brilliant idea. Brilliant. It's oh, you know, it's almost as though there's a complete and utter moron sitting there coming up with these really bad ideas. His name is Patrick Harvey. Anyway, Mr Yousaf, who earlier in the day faced an onslaught of criticism for his government's handling of the iPad saga, said those who are climate sceptics or indeed climate deniers will be judged harshly. Define what a climate denier is. Someone who denies that there's a climate? We all know there's a climate. Um, what a climate sceptic? Someone who looks at the actual figures? Someone who says you could close Scotland down entirely and it would make absolutely zero difference? Hmm, interesting, isn't it? You'll destroy the entire country to do nothing. Meanwhile, China will open up another 26 coal-fired power stations. Interesting. Uh, anyway, with his characteristic flair, Mr Ewing honed in on the impact of heat pump requirements on new house building projects. The Scottish Government wants to outlaw fossil fuel boilers by 2030, with those being banned in new built homes from next year. The SNP says we all agree there is an acute housing shortage in this country, yet homes for Scotland, Carla Homes, Taylor Woodrow and Persimmon, all the major house builders, have all warned repeatedly that the heat pump targets, especially for new builds, have had the effect of forcing up the costs of house building, so fewer homes are being built in Scotland. Boom! I mentioned this in a video the other day. If you're adding £30,000 to a house over and above putting a gas central heating rather than a heat pump in, and you're only putting the house up £30,000, fewer people can afford the house. Because that goes across the whole line. Number one, the houses are more expensive, fewer people can afford them. Secondly, people won't buy them because they've got heat pumps and they don't want it. The housing industry crashes, absolutely crashes. And in a, in a country that is desperate for new homes, desperate to have lots of homes built so that we can help eradicate the housing problem. Their one policy is designed to stop houses being built, to totally destroy the housing market. They know that, they've been told that, and they're still doing it. Therefore, homelessness is policy. The SNP are embarking on a policy they know will increase homelessness, and they're doing it on purpose. That's who these people are. Anyway, uh, Fergus went on. If the First Minister wants to tackle the housing shortage, he will consign the Green Party half-baked pine sky policy in the bin where it belongs, alongside the deposit return scheme, the highly protected marine areas. And will he recycle his Green Ministers to the backbenches where Labour law, where they belong, I think, uh, and then meet with industry and real experts? He received a round of applause from the Tory benches. Mr Youssef said perhaps the applause from the Conservative benches might demonstrate to Fergus Ewing that his proposals are not the most sensible. I think uh, they are. They are the most sensible. As someone who's worked, and this is me, as someone who's worked in the construction industry, I was an accountant for a house builder, I've worked in the construction industry as an accountant for 35 years. And let me tell you, um, one employer for 23 years, let me tell you, if you make it harder to build houses, fewer houses are, are built. And if you put the cost up, fewer houses are sold and the whole industry suffers. I speak from an area of knowledge. We used to do build costs. I would, I could take 500 house plot. I, you know, we'd, we'd have a big site. We could be putting 500 units up. And I could tell you almost down to the cost of every single brick, how much they would each cost. That's how good we were. And I can tell you now the market forces we had to factor them in. Can we put this price up? We can put this one up. This is a bonus. This one's got an extra position. This one's a slightly better. And we could we adjust the houses. The house prices by £50, £100. You know, in blocks. We, go, boom, boom, boom. we can put that one up. We can put that one up. And we, we said this is what our purchase price was. This is how we, we worked out what we're paying for the land. We knew. We knew exactly. The analysis was there. And so believe you me when I say this. 
what they're doing will deliberately destroy the house building industry in Scotland unless it's rejected. You put heat pumps in, say goodbye to house building. It will die. And then all the construction workers are unemployed. That's more dull. You know, uh, all the supply lines, all the tertiary industries, everything gone. The economy collapses. The likes of B&Q and uh, whatever, they'll, they'll go down because people aren't going out there. You know, the new carpet place, furniture shops, they'll all go because people aren't buying them because they're not buying the houses. It's massive. It is so massive. But of course, you've got morons. So what do you expect? Anyway, I shall round off and I shall come up and uh, we'll finish the video. So you see, Fergus gets it. Fergus understands. Fergus knows. And Fergus tells the truth, which is unusual for the SNP. But he's right. You've got to get rid of the Greens because they are destroying everything. And this stupid plan for uh, heat pumps is so destructive that not only will it destroy an entire industry, it will take down everything else around it and it will massively increase the homeless problem in Scotland. And for what? Just so Patrick Harvey can feel like he's achieved something in his sad, miserable life. Time to go, Patrick. Take Geoffrey with you, all of you, you know, and just sod off back to the, 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 the back benches and never, ever have your fingers in the pie of power again, you sad, cretinous morons. Thank you very much for watching. I shall stop there. We'll keep going. We've got another video yet. It's just endless, isn't it? It's endless rounds. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>